Every day online, people get attacked when talking about gratuities on board cruise ships. But yesterday, we heard a request from someone that we have never heard before. Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jordan. And I'm Jared. And this is JJ, JJ Cruz. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking into the story time today. We've got a doozy of a story revolving around a couple asking something that we both have never heard of before. And if you don't know, we're both travel agents, so we get a lot of very interesting requests from people on the daily. Oh, you would be shocked at the types of requests we get. And obviously some of them were surprised by the request becoming fulfilled or completely happening on their cruise. Uh, but before we get into this story, as well as this very controversial topic, uh, we want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. All we do is cruise. We love traveling the world via cruise ships. So if you love cruising, please hit that subscribe button. It's free for you. It means the world to us. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up. Before we jump into this story, we just want to preface that we are currently in Europe. We've been on a ship for a while. We've been cruising through the Norwegian fjords. It's been incredible. But as we all know, when you go to different countries and different places around the world, there are cultural differences. One of the biggest cultural differences between Europe, other countries, and the United States is, well, tipping. Tipping around the world is sometimes just seen as, well, an extra gesture because this was such an extraordinary service opportunity. You went above and beyond. And here is, well, an additional piece of my gratitude. That is, I think, what most people in other countries think of it. There are even some countries that see it as a negative, that it's actually offensive to tip or give any kind of gratuity because it's just not in the culture. You know, it was my responsibility to give you great service, so how dare you think I wouldn't give you that great service automatically for the paycheck I get. On the flip side, in the United States, it's a little bit different. Tipping in the U.S. is something that is not only expected, but necessary. Specifically in industries like the service industry, paychecks are actually much lower for hourly minimum wages than a lot of other people because you are expected to get a certain number of tips throughout the year to kind of get you to that annual salary number. Now we know that many of you watching already know this. However, we also have people from around the world, from the states, from everywhere across the world that don't know more than just what is customary for them. So that is why we're giving this preface for this story today. Let it be known that cultures are different everywhere and we love it. We love the fact that we're traveling the world and learning new different ways of life. And this is just one of the things that comes with it. But how does it relate to cruising? Well, as many of you watching know, when you get on a cruise ship, you have something called your daily gratuities. That is a daily service charge that you are automatically charged to your stateroom that covers your tips tips for your stateroom attendant, for some of your servers in the restaurant, as well as a few other people within the cruise ship that have served you during your time on that cruise. Even though tipping around the world is different, Celebrity Cruises, the cruise line we're on right now, has done something that we think is fantastic. They have done an all-included rate. And they've done this, I think, partially because they want to make sure that everything's included so there is no debate to be had. And what I mean by that is with all included rate, you have your drinks included, you have your Wi-Fi included, but for today's topic, the gratuity is included as well. So with that all included rate, you get a little bit of a discount for all of those things uh, put together into one and the gratuities are covered. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just come on your cruise and enjoy. Now for us, we're from the States. We like to tip extra on top of that, but technically you don't have to. There's nothing to think about. Just go on your cruise and enjoy. Where the controversial part comes into play is when people come on board and request or ask to get those gratuities taken off or refunded because they would like to either pay in cash or they were not happy with their service and feel as though they shouldn't be paying gratuities in the first place. Yesterday, however, we were sitting down at the Next Cruise office. As we said, we're both travel agents. We typically go down to Next Cruise at some point on our voyage just to kind of learn about what promotions are going on, anything that we might be able to get for our clients, and just understand the new itineraries that are coming out or coming in the future. Well, we sat there while a couple was sitting with one of the future cruise 
consultants and they were going back and forth and back and forth on pricing and I kind of tuned in to listen because I thought what is taking so long we sat there for about a half an hour and finally I understood what was happening the couple were from another country in Europe they were not from the United States and they were trying to figure out how to purchase a cruise with this always included package but get money taken off because they didn't want the gratuity portion to be a part of the total cost. Of course, once again, culture is different everywhere. We also know there's a lot of talk online and what we even preface this video with, there's a lot of people that just have mistrust in corporations, not to do the right thing, to take a portion of those gratuities themselves. To be clear, that is not what they do. From our understanding and from everything we've heard from actual employees, that is never a thing that happens. Your gratuities are safe. They go straight to who they're supposed to go to. But that is a mistrust that is out there from, well, lots of other situations outside the cruise industry that leads to mistrust with corporations in general. So what we would love to see here is an understanding of what could happen at future cruise and what would happen and they went back and forth, back and forth, reading these prices for cruise only rates where they could take the gratuities off versus an all included rate where they cannot take any of the gratuities off because it's in that all included package. There is no middle of the line where it's like, well, I just want the cruise rate plus a couple of extra things and get this always included discount. Truly, you either cruise with no perks and then you pay your gratuities on board or you get the always included drinks gratuities as well as the wi-fi this was finally conveyed to them that they could not do this they could not get a pick and choose rate of what you wanted to pay for and what you didn't want to pay for but we thought it was very interesting understanding and taking in the cultural differences specifically from people in europe and people in the u.s and knowing that this just isn't something that is ever going to be possible for cruisers coming on board celebrity. We know this isn't every single person in every single European country. We know every country is different, every culture is different, but we thought that this would be an interesting topic in general to hear what your thoughts are. You, do you think that it's good to remove gratuities and go ahead and pay in cash to whoever really gives you that service? Or are you on the flip side, kind of where we have been, where we pay our automatic gratuities and tip a little extra because we just want to give the crew what they deserve, as much gratitude as possible, but we're also coming from different cultures. So please, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, also from where you're coming from. Maybe in a country that you're coming from, cruises, this isn't common. Maybe this is what everyone does and we're not aware of it. We want to learn as much as possible and we're open to learning as well. But let us know your thoughts in the comments below. This video was not intended to shame anyone or that couple at Next Cruise just trying to understand how tipping and gratuities worked. But we do love getting a healthy conversation in the comments going. So let's talk about tips. What do you think? What are some tips about tipping that you might have for others? And like Jared said, if you're from another country where it's not customary, what is it that's the norm for you and where you live? Well, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya! See ya.